Ja, kom in. Electric as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's a uh, queue. It's uh, up about two thousand seven hundred odd miles now. Eh? Oh, if you keep above the assist like. level. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, well. But he's still using it. Yeah, he? well. You see, right. she tends to keep that in eco a lot. Yeah. And this is morning, and I'm saying, well, use the power it's got. But, <laughs> but that's got the lowest, it's got the smallest output motor that's got of her. I mean, this isn't all that powerful, it's only 50 NMs, I think. He's gone the easy way. So this is where I came down yesterday. So he's uh, he's gone on another track him a bit easier, he said. But I don't think this this is the easy bit, isn't it? Oh it's Is this it coming up here? Look at this here. Yeah. What's happened to him? I think I presume he was coming this way.
sure do that then. What's that back tire? You see, it could be, but it's just a bit thin. And then these stones are just. Oh, it's a really tough tire, though. They're good tires, these. And I've done what? 700 miles or so now on it. Over 700. Is it out anywhere at all? Then. Now I think this is the end of the road here. It's only three miles that. Maybe that. God, got a bit of wheel spin on the side then. No, oh, it isn't. We've almost gone for a bit further. Tell you what, it takes a bit of keeping up with Ellen at times. Oh, we're wrong about that. This could be it here. you want to go in Tavinor, go down Delphaber Road and we'll try and pick that Abinor Circular up and oh, then no, follow I'm it all. Going to I don't mind going to I can wipe it over with stain. Hmm. This is 
a bit more. Not to mention anyway. Right, so here we are, lot lagging. And this is on the A82. Oh no, 86, sorry. So somewhere over there is uh, Ben Fogle House or Ardverick House. This is the, the Ardverick Estate. Right, so we've got a little bit of a problem here. The cube's okay, but look at Ellen's tyre. Well, Yes, she has finally had a puncture. What do you think of that then? <laughs> so when we get to this site at Glencoe, I'll uh, I'll have to have a look at that and see what's wrong with it. This is the first puncture she has ever had on that cube, on that Scott, or on any bike she's had. Okay. Right, so the poor old Scott. That tyre's flat as a pancake again, I have to be pumping it up. Uh, I've got my uh, stool ready. But we do have a problem midges. I've never been on the site before. I mean, and they're still biting me. I've even got this wristband on. My word, we are busy this morning, aren't we? Funny everybody turns up when you're doing a bit of filming. Right, so I'll just put this on here and I'll turn the bike over. So, I've gone through Can't see anything stuck in the tyre Oh yes, they're definitely biting me Well been on the site before and we've had biting midges so being careful not to lose that aha yes I'll put that on there I think that one was just uh, pointed out to me so, this isn't to protect me from the biting midges. I believe they pulled my mask up like this. But that's it all steam up. Yes. 
the glasses. Pull it out. And there we have it. That's what you need to do. Now I'm not, not going to waste time looking for a, a puncture because there's obviously something wrong, so go and get another inner tube. Right, so this is one I've been carrying around on the tube for a long time. So let's have a see. It's a 700 times 45. It doesn't. <laughs> All right, well, I'm so we can get into this. Carrying that around for ages. So, unless. Unless I can make that go through there. What do I do? No, it didn't want to go through. Well, I'll go and break the news to Helen. So that must be a Schrader valve, and this must be the other type, which as you can see. Look at all them spots. I can't believe that. That's just one leg and the other's as bad. Yeah. Talk about midges. <sighs> yes, not bad, eh? Them midges aren't too much trouble to this on people. Right, so this is a bit later on now. So let's just have a recap of what's happened here now. So that's the original inner tube out of the Scott. It's a Kenda 700 by 45C. It's got a puncher in it. Don't know where, but we've no, we've no puncher outfit. But not to worry because I found this in the back 
but when I tried to fit it, the valve is a Schrader, is it a Schrader? And it, uh, it won't go through the hole in the wheel of the Scott. So that's no good. But not to worry because coming over the horizon to the rescue is a brand new inner tube that I found in the back of the Scott, uh, back of the cube in the pannier, which I've been carrying around for ages. And this is a Presta valve one, so that'll do. Uh, it's 700, 700 by 38 stroke 55, so it'll just about do for the Scott. But when I put it on, the air was coming out as fast as it was going in. So it's got a puncture in it. So that's useless as well. So that means that the poor old Scott is off the road till we get home. So I'll just have to put that on now and forget it. So this is uh, this will be continued at a later date. Bye. Right, we're home now, and we're in the shed, and uh, you can see the problem we've got. It's uh, the old Scott, it's in a tube missing. So, let's have a look here now, let's see what we've got. Well, we've got, we've got that, which I tried fitting, and it wouldn't fit because it's a straight valve, but it was too big anyway, so I didn't know that. This is the one out of the back of the cube that's punctured. So if you just bear with me, I'll just try and find what's wrong with it. Okay, so I'll just put that there and I don't know if you can see that. But that, see that all there? That is what's wrong with this new inner tube. Now whether I've nicked it, I could have done that myself when I were putting it in the actual tyre. Well, if I did, it's no good. And this is the inner tube out of the Scott, which I put it on and I put the bunk under the water that I give it. Now just watch this. Hang on a minute now, where is it? Here it is. There, how about that? And that is where the puncture is on the Scott. Right, so end of story, so I'm not going to patch that up. Now that looks like a little mark to me, isn't it? As though it's been damaged, leaving it off. Well, if I did it, I don't know how that's happened because it was already going down anyway. So that we can discard. So we've got uh, two new ones here. There we are. So getting back to this other one with the Presta valve, it's it's too big. This is what I actually got for the Korea Revulcan e-bike, the electric bike. Uh, I mean, it, it won't even fit that because they're my 26 inch wheels. So it's no good at all that. I mean, they're not that much, they're only about three or four pounds to buy. Right, so we'll get, uh, we'll get that wheel off the Scott now. So now I've put a bit of air in this new inner tube. This is the brand new one, Malford. Oh, no, I've got the car Scott upside down now. I think we might have a problem here because this is the front tyre. Nothing wrong with it. Pumped up. But look at the difference here. This is never going to do. Right, now there's something a bit odd about this. This new inner tube has got 35B on it. See that? The original one out of the Scott has got 45C on it and it's a damn sight bigger. Look at that! I mean, if we put them side by side now, there is no way, no way that is going to do the same job as that. It needs to be a lot bigger. I mean, look at the size of this tyre. Now, on this box it's got here, it's got all these sizes, right? And that one there, if I can just point it out to you, is the size, that's 35C. Now you'd think that all those different sizes, they're either sizes what they do, or sizes that this'll, this'll do. 
but it just says 700 C. What does that mean? I mean, they've all got a C behind them, but there it clearly says 700 by 45 C, which is that. Now, to pump that inner tube up to the size of this, <laughs> well, what's going to happen to it? Shall we give it a go? Okay. Right, so first of all, we'll take the inner tube, and on there, and we'll put this, uh, what you have to do is just slacken that valve off, and you put this adapter on, and so let's pump it up, and we'll just see what happens. Well, it's getting there, isn't it? Well, there, you can see it's a, it's a bit bigger there than it is here. What's that mean? Is that a weak point on it? Carry on pumping it up. So look at that now. Not only that, it's gone bigger. I mean, it shouldn't be that big inside the inner tube. It might do this. I'll let the air out and get it fitted. Just leave a little bit of uh, a bit of air in it to get inside the wheel. Okay. What are you thinking? What is he doing? Right. So, first of all, I need the oil. Right. Something he'd be doing. Where's that one gone? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so let's. Uh, more of it. No trouble last time. What we need to do, I think I'll do for yours now, is get another spur one. I thought it was your spur, and get another yeah. one. Yeah. Get a wider one for that as the spur. This is unbelievable, isn't it? You see, you watch them do them on. It's a really good pause. I haven't done it all the time. Oh, look at this. It's absolutely ridiculous. Why are they so tight to get on? Got it. Right. So I've got to do now is put some pressure in it. Hang on a minute. It does help if you 
they slacken that little screw off which I did I think unless it tightened itself up as I screwed this on Right. So I think what we'll do is this brand new one, we'll save that for the cube and we'll send we'll have to send up for a proper size one for this. A proper one like like that. So she couldn't find one when she looked on the internet. Ellen does all the ordering. So these are from uh, our friends Alfred's. Let's see what's happening here now. So it's, it's in the right position there. There and here. Not places. The right wall tire's giving it away, see. So it's still in the middle of this. It's not uh, a good five millimeters there between the edge of the wheel and that white wall and over here it's not got on the rim has it no. right now we're getting somewhere now you can see exactly what the problem is see that that's okay around there but as you get to here see that's the giveaway, it's just not going in. So what we're going to do is connect this up. At the moment we've got 30 pounds pressure in it. So what I'm going to do is just put a bit more pressure in. And I'm going to knock it in this. Forty pounds. pounds pressure I've put in that now and it's still it's still not come out properly there well let's just have a look here because there's a limit as to how much pressure you could put in these where does it say it? ah oh, here look 45 to 70 pounds the tyre will take well, let's carry on then Yep, to the point where you get past the curry. Right, 60 pounds. There you are. That's done it. How about that? Whew. So this, as you can see, there's 60 pounds of pressure in that tire, you know. Well, we don't want that much in, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll reduce it to about 40. I think. Now the only way I can do with that is to unscrew that and it there. And uh, put that back on. On. I don't like that. I don't like that much pressure out. Surely not. No, there's something wrong here. Hang on a minute. Me glove. I think you've had me nose out of that one, don't you? Put that down there. Nose <laughs> out to that. 
There's hardly any pressure in that. It feels really hard. So what's going on here? Senses, does it? Do you know, I'm sure if somebody up there is having a laugh with me, would you not agree? I mean, that is absolutely rock hard. Yeah, according to this, there's only just over 15 pounds of pressure in it. Well, I don't understand that. <laughs> At least it's gone up, hasn't it? Now, when you take that off and you put that back on, you screw that up like that and uh, put the dust cap on which I must add it didn't come with and it should be alright to go back on now this right I'm pleased to announce the Scott is back on the road Tire's pumped up. It feels a bit soft, but what I'll do, I'll just put a bit more air in it with that small pump, and then uh, we're going to leave it now. Uh, it's not going anywhere. We're not going any rides anywhere, so we'll just leave it and see if it goes down. I think it'll be all right itself. Okay. Have a nice day. Ooh, look at all them catkins aren't shifting. Have a friendly tree up there that belongs to him over there. Oof. Right, so this is the end of the film now, and it's the day after I've fixed the Scott's tyre. Now just have a look at this. Nice, eh? Yeah, see you on the next one.